Morning guys, welcome back to Edward RC. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to build this CNC foam board cutter. If you're a big fan of uh, flight test planes, this is going to be a very handy tool. It will save you a lot of time. Finally, a CNC cutter that can cut foam board for us. Yeah! <laughs> so by now, you should have all the 3D printed parts ready, as well as the electronics and hardware. If you have not, then uh, head down to the description to download the parts from Thingiverse as well as the part list. Let's get building! Alright, first part we are going to install the needle cutter assembly which looks something like this. So you will need a X plate B, C, motor mount and the, all the other parts as shown here which is for this first you need to join the plate b and c together at a 90 degree like this notice the orientation and uh, for the first time it may be tight they can't put it in but actually the tolerance is correct it's just that uh, it's certain printer there's this elephant leg at the edge over here so it's a little bit tight so you need to fold it here so that it fits Right now I can fit it in. If you have a hammer, you can knock it, make it tighter. So as you can see, the gap is uh, quite close ready now. Check that it's 90 degree. Apply super glue. You just need the glue to drip into the slit for it to hold strongly together. Now you can mount the servo holder or servo mount. This is where you put on your servo, grind it so that it sticks better. Position it at the center. It's alright if it's offset a little bit. Before mounting the motor mount on this, you have to assemble these pieces over here first. This is for this side, mount it. Once you file all the tabs and uh, able to install it, this is how the box should look like. Then now you can assemble it onto the motor mount. Take note on the orientation. This should be the orientation. This should be the front. This is the back. Okay, this is where you mount the, the motor. So now I can slot it in. Okay, perfect. All right. So for this part, even if you don't apply glue, it's very tight. And I've tried uh, using it uh, without glue, without being glue, and it's fine. But if you need to, you can add super glue or you can use uh, hot melt glue. So uh, if there's changes in the future or expansion, uh, you can just take this out. Now we are going to install the guide bearings over here. So you will need 4 M3 by 10 mm screw, 8 6 by 2 bearings, and egg M3 by 5 by 0.3 mm thickness washer. So the order is screw, one washer, bearing, bearing, washer, and this part, you mount it here. So you need this washer at the front and back of the two bearings to make sure that uh, it is able to spin smoothly when you mounted it to the 3D part. Try to rotate it and make sure the bearing is able to spin smoothly and then repeat the all four for the all four holes. You do not need to uh, tighten it very much. When it stops, then it's fine, that's good. Okay, once you're done, this is how it looks like. Touch on the bearing and make sure that it rotates smoothly. You should be able to feel that. Now time to install the welding tip. This is a 24KD and uh, has a length of 27mm uh, end to end. Install it with a M6 nut. This is a thin version of nut which is about 3mm thick. Put it in first. So I just turn it. You can use a plier to secure it. There's a tab over here, a flat area. Alright, perfect fit. 
Now we are going to install the motor, which is a 2212, 1000kV process motor. And I already have the ESC soldered. This is an Emax 12M uh, ESC. You can go as low as 6M uh, ESC as uh, it pulls very little current only. Also, as for the wire orientation, make sure when it rotates, it's uh, going counterclockwise. As this flywheel rotate, it will self-tighten your needle holder. Your motor should come with four of these uh, motor screw as well. And I recommend adding Loctite. Position it here, like this. Align the hole, grab your screw, add some Loctite. Once you install the motor, you can uh, now mount it to the plate C. As you can see here, the hole here is for M3, but it's quite tight here. So I'm going to drill it with an M3 drill bit. You can clean the burr by hand drilling with a larger, larger drill bit on the edge. So that's smooth there. You need 4 M3 by 16 mm screw, 4 lock nut and 4 M3 washer. And the washer can be any uh, thickness of washer, it's not particular. While pushing on the M3 screw, align with the hole at the back. Okay, once it's went through, put on a washer, then lock nut. Okay, then repeat again on the other slot. Now I've installed all four screws and I'm going to tighten the lock nut. But you do not want to tighten until that uh, both plates hold onto each other closely. You want to leave a little bit of gap here so that the whole thing can slide. Okay, so I'm going to try first to tighten all until it's almost uh, fully tightened then let go a few rounds so now it's rather tight okay then uh, you need to start adjusting loosening all four screws and uh, another way to know is that uh, you can tell the screw can rotate smoothly or not this one you have to uh, look closely. Okay, much better. Okay, it's quite smooth now. It's a must to add grease inside this slot. It will make a huge difference. Okay, put it on both sides. Now I've applied grease on uh, all four slots and uh, it's a big difference as it can uh, drop down uh, by its own weight. And the tips regarding this is that you want to tighten it, you want both plate to be uh, as close as possible while still able to slide smoothly. Because if the gap is too large, this becomes part of uh, vibration, uh, more noise. So try to tune it uh, as close as possible. That will uh, make it uh, run very quietly without extra noise, uh, yet still able to uh, slide smoothly. So as you can see now, it's really, really smooth. Okay, you want it at least uh, when you push it up, it can come down by itself. So that should be good enough. Now in your case, this is where you solder your motor and your ESC together. And uh, once you've done that, then making sure it rotates at the uh, counterclockwise rotation, then you can uh, apply hot metal glue here to secure it to the back plate. Let's put it in the middle. Once it's dry, now you can install your 9 gram servo. This is just a plastic uh, Tau Pro SG90 9 gram servo. And then uh, it's very crucial when installing the servo. Okay, you want it to be installed as much to the right side here as possible. But not all the way in. If you, For example, here if you go all the way in, it blocks. See, it blocks it from going down, for, uh, all the way down. So what, to, what you do is you install the servo horn, okay, but never install the screw. Then as you slot it in, now just give it some practice first, okay. You want the servo horn to be at the center of the plate at the front. Look at here, right, it's at the center. And then take a look at the gap in between 
the horn and the plate at the back plate okay to the right as much right as possible so whole horn at the middle okay so if you do not install this properly if it's uh, having too much of load with the servo horn brushing a plate uh, it could restart your i don't know uno because there's too much load and then your your pc usb just just shut it down then you ruin your cut so once i'm satisfied with the position apply hot melt glue here again so it's best to use a uh, hot melt glue because if you screw it up you can still remove it now slide it in carefully and then make sure it's on towards the right and then make sure the servo horn is at the center of that plate is very crucial now the glue is dry and i just want to give you a test that the servo can move up and down easily no binding okay once it's installed now remove the servo horn okay because we do not know what is the position now and uh, you're going to calibrate that in uh, when you fire it up the Arduino Uno later when your machine is completely built. Otherwise, if you left it in and then as you fire up uh, Arduino Uno or you do calibration, this may cause it to uh, to jam because of the wrong position. Okay, keep your servo horn and your screw at a safe place. <laughs>